you have been taught the longest way to do these kind of questions. Let me show you how you do it in literally seconds, isn't it? So write y equals three sine x plus root three cos x in this form. Now with all these R transformation stuff, all you do is you check that the first trig I or trig function matches the R transformed. Now to find R is super simple. R is the Pythagoras of the coefficients rooted, well that's Pythagoras isn't it? So that'll be 9 plus 3 which is 12 root of 12, uh, 2 root 3. Now here's the best bit, how do you find alpha? You do inverse tan of the second number root 3 divided by the first number 3, okay? Which is pi over 6 or 30 degrees depending on what the angle is, they'll tell you that in the exam. So here's your answer, y equals 2 root 3 sine x plus pi over 6 and it really is that simple guys, that is all you need to show in the exam for three marks. Now some of you guys might be wondering, mate, like that's not going to give you all the marks. Let me show you guys what you've probably been taught. You have been taught to do the addition rule on this, right? You'll say this equals, so remember for sine, it goes sine cos, sine cos, right? With the coefficient of r, we have r sine x cos alpha, then sine keeps the sine the same, r, and then we swap the angles. And then you've been taught to compare the coefficients. You said, look, here's sine x, here's sine x, so it must mean three equals r cos x, r cos alpha, sorry. And then here you have cos alpha, cos alpha, so r sine alpha is root three. Then you've been taught to divide tan alpha is root three over three. And then you get the same thing, alpha is your pi over six. And then you, depending on who your teacher is, but they might have just said, look, you just do the, um, the Pythagorean identity. You square these two, r squared sine squared alpha plus r squared cos squared alpha is, um, well, you could write like this first. That gives you r squared sine squared plus cos squared. See, I'm yawning inside, by the way, showing you guys this. That just leaves you r squared. Is your three squared plus root three squared, and then you root it. By the time you guys have done all this, I'm on like the last question, yeah? So you get our two root three. Okay, now you don't need to show all of this. And how can I prove it to you? I've been marking exam papers for a very long time. I have taught many students who have only used this. I used only this in my exams and I got 100% in most of them. And here I'm gonna show you some mark schemes. They're just like popping up on the screen. You can see that in all those mark schemes, they only want to, or they only wanna see this, and they wanna see this. And the main part of this to make sure you don't make any silly mistakes is make sure that if this first function is sine, this first function is sine. So I can give you guys many different forms. So if I, now I'm just making up on the spot. Yeah, so say I had y is, I don't know, two cos x minus three sine x. Sometimes they won't even tell you what form they want it in. They might ask you to solve this equals zero and you have to do the R transformation yourself. Which one are you gonna choose? You're gonna choose R, the first function is cos, the angle is x, but cos changes the sign, so it'll become plus alpha. Then R is two squared plus three squared rooted. Can you see I didn't take into account the negative? It doesn't matter. We only look at the coefficients, which is nine plus four, so root 13. And then alpha, this would give you some decimal. Actually, I can say equals for now, is inverse tan of the second number three over two, which uh, I don't even have my calculator. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So you just type that in, whatever that is to three SF, you can, uh, you can type that in. So yeah, guys, that is basically it. These are your R transformations. These are the quick ways of doing these questions. You do not need to show this. I've just shown you some mark schemes um, and that is it. So guys, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on more tricks like this and like the video 
if you've learned something new today and I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.